everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video I'm going to be servicing and cleaning up our R53 supercharger and then replacing the water pump. Let's go. Okay, so we are all gloved up and good to go. Essentially, a supercharger works by taking in the air from this side, pushing it through the rotors, this air then gets pushed back through this horn and it comes out into the intercooler to cool down. This supercharger does have a little bit of damage, so this bit here if you can see, that dent, when you run your finger on the inside as well you can feel that. The other part which broke was this bit here. It cracked when we were removing it and it had actually welded itself. So I bought myself two new horns, one of which I have started to clean up. I really want to put everything back together on the car, spotless. So that's the goal. Today's first job though is to service it. So I will be taking these bolts off first. Okay, so first impressions with the rotors, I'm pretty pleased with. This is a facelift version, hence the Teflon coated rotors. And when I rotate the pulley at the end, there, there isn't any scratching noises. That clicking that you can hear is just the gearbox inside. However, obviously, there is an issue with the amount of oil that there is inside here. So I think I'm going to need to do some more research into firstly how that got there and also what we can do to solve it. However, it is probably worth remembering that when I did take the intercooler apart, there was a lot of oil in there, so it might be later possibly. This gasket also looks <laughs> like it has seen better days, so it may also be worth replacing that. The other part that we're going to do though, in the meantime as well, this is off, is to replace the water pump, which also looks like it has been happier before. So it will be these four here at the end. So apparently, I can't count four. <laughs> there is just these three, and they are all 13 mil. Okay. I mean it's not it's not looking its finest, let's be honest. I do think for for the 40 quid or whatever, it is definitely worth doing it whilst it's all off the car. This must be the one from original. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting a new sparkly one on. It's good. So now the next job will be to drain and replace the supercharger oil. There are two drain plugs, one on this side which is the driver's side. Um, apparently it should hold between 140-145 millilitres of oil so I've marked that up in a cup. Once I've drained it I will be able to see if any oil has been lost. Then the second uh, plug is here, apparently that I mean, different people online say different things. Someone says 40 and someone says 50 to 55. I've put 55 and we'll just have to have a look and see how much comes out. So, the other obviously difficult task will be the fact that I have to hold it the entire time. Okay, so I'm not sure how well my lighting is here, but this O-ring looks to be in really good condition still. So. I shall be popping that back on once I've finished. Now we have to try and be Mrs. Muscles and tip this bad boy up and see how much we get. Mm. Well, it's not horrendous. I mean, it could have been way down here. So 
not too bad. The one thing I would say though is obviously the colour is quite significantly different to what I will be putting back in. Um, I just thought I would tip it back and see if there was any air in it. Turns out that I have managed to get some more out, so I'm not really sure. We're actually really close to what we were expecting. I think to be fair that is the very last of it. But I'm really pleased. That could have been quite significantly worse. Let's give the other side a go. Okay. Round two. Good news about number two. Goodness, everything is apparently going my way today. Hopefully for the last time. Okay, seeing as my trick last time worked. Let's see if I can get any more. Okay, I don't think I can physically hold that any longer. However, to be perfectly honest with you, it's not actually, it is obviously lower than it should be. But what does it smell like? It just smells absolutely disgusting and I really hate this job. <laughs> Let's give this a quite quiet round and then we can start measuring out for the new oil. So my supercharger service kit I've bought from the S-Works. I will put the link in the description below. The instructions are all pretty clear, although it is assuming that it is still on the car, which obviously mine is not. I am up to this section here, uh, which, where am I up to? So it says about taking out, it would be a good idea to see if any has been lost, which I've done. It then says, once the oil is removed, clean the syringe, uh, draw out the new oil, refill the gearbox. This gearbox takes approximately 145 millilitres of oil. And then it says, but fill in until it comes out of the hole. But I'm assuming that is only relevant if it's still attached to the car and obviously horizontal. I will just be putting in 145 millilitres of oil using the syringe that it gives me. And this one here, this pipe, and obviously new oil. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be like a doctor at that point and that didn't work. Oh, this. Uh, why is that so difficult? Oh, okay. Ooh. I think my blue gloves, goodness knows what I'm about to do. Okay, so that's 50. Okay, yeah, put that in. Make sure you let it drip into the thing if it has to. Because you're also now going to be adding the tube amount as well. Those are technical. Why, why am I making this so complicated? Well, make sure it's not wasted. Yeah, okay, right, it. so now we're in. How much extra do you think the tube takes? Okay, just dump it in. So we're back on 50 plus the tube. I 
feel like in a minute that's going to ricochet out of my hands and smash everything. Should I do 35? Do you think that's 10 well, milliliters you're in better there? I off having more in than less. So I'm putting 40. Right, let's turn it on, on its end and Okay, so I am just going to triple check the instructions actually to make sure. Okay, this gearbox will take 40 milliliters. Someone else online definitely said 50 to 55. So I'm thinking if I put in 45, plus the tube, it's kind of in the middle. Right, okay, let's go for it. There really isn't very much left in that bottle, so. Chances of doing more damage by having too much in there than not enough. I think it's better in a few milliliters. You can probably just tip it. I was thinking that, but then I don't know if I'm gonna make a mess. I will guarantee I'll make a mess. Let's all observe and see how badly I can do this. Ooh. Surprisingly quite good. I'll do that when I put oil in my car. So, as we've checked, that all looks good. And unsurprisingly, for the 10 minutes it's been sat on my desk, it still looks pretty good. So does that mean I've done it? Yes. I have officially done things that most of my boyfriends haven't done so I am really pleased with that really really pleased with it next job will be to fix the new ward pump the kit that I bought is the obviously both parts of the new water pump there but also it includes the o-ring that will be fitted once it goes back onto the engine. So, line it up with the supercharger. So, then fitting the three that I took out beforehand. These are 13 mil bolts, and then I will be putting the intercooler horn back on with a new gasket with the these four. So, speak to you in a bit. Okay, so I'm just cutting through plastic to open this nice new gasket. 
see which way I just decided it was going this way. Okay, so officially completed my very first supercharged service. I have to admit, even despite the fact that obviously the oil and everything is all clean, the actual thing itself looking significantly better. Um, so not strong enough to hold that for very long. The next video, I haven't quite decided, so I'm going to put a little caption down here. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, if you have any suggestions for what I should do in the next videos, please let me know. And if I've obviously done anything wrong, please let me know that too, because I am still very much learning. Hopefully see you in the next video, guys.